Greetings. Today I want to remind you that sometimes the best that we can do in any given time, in any situation, is to let things be. We are told, or it is implied, in so many ways, on so many levels, from so many perspectives, that we must be doing, that we must constantly create, put forth effort. And depending on what the outcome you expect is, that can be true. But sometimes you have to be still. Sometimes you have to take a moment and allow things to develop. Sometimes you have to take a second to breathe. Allow the work that you have done to work on its own. And that's in any aspect. It, it doesn't matter what you apply that to. I'm reminding you to give yourself permission to do so. Because no matter how much work you put into your garden, you cannot force a seed to grow in the time that you want it to grow. Sometimes you could do too much. Sometimes you could do too little. But a majority of time, in gardening here as with many other things in life. You have to allow the process to be the process. You have to allow your relationship to the process to take its natural course. And it could be seen with people as well. There could be times where, well, from my own experience, where I have toiled, struggled, self-inflicted struggle, and put so much effort into things and people, situations, that I just, I got exhausted and didn't even understand that I was harming myself. But when I allow myself time and space away from those people, places, things, what have you, even ideas, things that I may watch or consume, just taking a step back, allowing it to be what it is, it gave me clarity. And some of those things I didn't return to, some of those people I didn't return to, some of those situations I left by the wayside. And there was a sigh of relief that followed. There was a clarity and perspective that followed. There was a heightened sense of peace that I didn't even know was available to me. And the entire time it was my choices that kept me removed from that peace. So I would, like, I would like to remind you to take a moment if you can. Well, it's not even if you can, you always can. Take a moment if you so choose. Be okay with who you are in the moment. Find peace with that. Don't look for anybody else to validate it. Don't even force yourself to validate yourself. Just be okay with it. Be okay with who you are in the moment. Be okay with whatever seeming circumstances surround you. Be okay with the things that you believe may impact you in your life. Just be okay with it. Look at it from an outsider point of view, meaning you see it, okay. But you don't have to interact with it, maneuver. But you focus on something else. But don't force yourself to engage in thoughts, in things outside of you that are going to be there whether you entertain it or not. The issues of the world, let them be the issues of the world. Don't even get caught up in figuring out a way to supplant yourself in those issues. Remove yourself. See what happens. Those issues will continuously go under. 
that's just the nature of things. So give yourself permission to be still, relax, chill out, find something else at all. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But if you don't give yourself that space, if you don't give yourself that grace, nobody else will. Nothing else will. Because it starts with you. If you go into an environment, if you go into a thought process with the idea of, I have to tackle this obstacle, I have to overcome this thing in front of me. Well, you best believe that thing, that person, that environment is going to give you something that matches that energy. It's going to give you something to overcome. It's going to give you something to toil about. It's going to give you something to stress over. Don't worry about it. Let it go. Now, I'm not saying everything's going to be roses and bubbles. Nah. But sometimes you got to sit still, fall back, and simply pay attention to what's happening around you, the goings on around you without you interfering. And in doing so, sometimes you'll come to realize that you really have no part in it. Whether you do or don't do doesn't change the outcome that you're witnessing. And that gives you a little bit of latitude. That gives you the space to say, okay, well, if this is how it's going to be, regardless of if I interfere or not, do I even want to take on that extra unnecessary burden? It's everybody's choice. It's fine. There have been moments uh, even even more recently, I, I look back in some journals along my journey and there have been answers that were waiting for me to discover them. And they were always a part of my journey. There were answers from two or three years ago that didn't even hit me to within the past year. And I didn't even understand that I was allowing the answer to come to me. Until I looked through the journals over the past week or two. And that's something I rarely do. As much as I do journal and document certain things in my life. I rarely go back. I always have the intention to. But I rarely do. But in taking that time to do so recently. I was able to see with more clarity. That the answers were always there. And something within me knew it. Because the answers lie. In my choices. By making certain choices. I took different paths. It's not always easy. I still have moments where I can allow myself to stress myself out. Then I have to fall back. Then I have to give myself that grace. I have to remind myself that where I am now is where I once dreamed of being. And I find I find a bit of peace in that. So I hope this reminder today can help you do the same. There's always going to be a problem. Like the old adage, there's always a problem for every solution. And there's a solution for every problem. It's just about choosing which way you want to approach. How you navigate your journey. Stress will come, stress will go. Take a breath. Take a moment. Because if you don't give that to you, nobody else will. Until next time, be blessed.